This afternoon, and ladies and gentlemen, you'll watch the cowboy. As he nods to the shoot gate, you open, you open, he must have a spur on the point of that horse's shoulders for the first jump in order for a qualified ride to be completed. You'll notice in the bareback ride of events, these horses, though, the more athletic of all the bucking horses in the rodeo strings, the bareback horses have their own unique bucking and snapping action. And the cowboy has absolutely no control of that horse for the eight seconds that he's on the horse's back. He hangs on with a suitcase shaped handle that goes across the woods of these bucking horses. And on each side of that handle is a metal D ring over the head hold that raw hide rigging into place. On each side of that metal rigging, ladies and gentlemen, that ring is the leather strap known as a latigo that goes through the six that goes underneath the heart of one of these horses. The man has got himself a broken jaw and a broken cheek, and he's still riding here this afternoon. If you see him around here later on this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, the side of his face all swelled up, and he's a cowboy. One of the toughest on the circuit. And now the head's head outside. See, hold on, man. And he's that cowboy and ride right the champion. And he's got himself a bareback ride across that arena, leaning back. And that's what call the champion. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He can hear you loud and clear. The father of six champions and crown of British Columbia. And one of the toughest men in the rodeo history. The back to go down, the cowboy is spread down the side, it's cold top. Ride down, he ride and down on the ground and give him a big round of applause. Those are straight feet bucked off that big bucking horse. And an old score for Cole Scott here this afternoon down on the ground. There is one of the best in Western Canada. She's hard to stay on, she's hard to ride. And ride and tell him, here you go, he's got himself a saddle on horse at the wall. Give him a big round of applause, and ladies and gentlemen, that horse there is the 2012 Bucket Horse of the Year with the British Columbia Rodeo Association. Some scratches and some petting, and here you go, Terry Palladio on Kitty Hawk. Hang on, Terry, go right over the front end of that Bucket Horse and down the ground. Give him a big round of applause, and that's where that ride should have been, Terry Cowboy, and a no score. So far, three quarters of the cowboys have been thrown to the ground in the sidewalk ride in the bit. Three cowboys have thrown bucking horses and three cowboys have thrown to the ground here this afternoon. When you're in the saddle riding the mix, ladies and gentlemen, it's all up the timing for this cowboy. Keep that horse be sit down perfectly in the shoes for him to have his legs in place. Over the, to get him underneath the swells of that saddle, that's what he's waiting to have happen. Trying to get himself situated and ready to ride a bucket horse. All in this cowboy, we'll go down to the town and hit the face. Tom hits it outside. Steve Holman on Black Martini ride. Cowboy ride and oh, down on the ground. And notice this. Bucking horses so far, ladies and gentlemen, no qualifiers in the saddle rock riding event here this afternoon. Hope Rescue Williams Lake got himself back to the very bottom, all the hits and outside. Started down to your rodeo arena, goes for the hip kick. Takes a big dismount, grabs that calf, pulls him down, and the crowd come alive. Help the cowboy out, and the crowd up behind him. He goes to wrap the time. He's done. Give him a big round of applause. Very rope stretch across, the young cowboy getting ready to rope. Stephen Lloyd, the young man. Tom's the it outside, trying to down, throw the loop down. Hit him the ground, and takes off in no time with the Cornell Cowboy, and a no time. Jerry Tucker's got himself back to the Mary Bach. Rope stretch across. Tom's the it outside, trying to down to your own arena. Got us off a black cap around the neck. Takes that big fly this ball, the big guys throw them down to the ground. Rope ball, take it straight on the front foot. Brings up the two high feet. Goes for the wraps. The tie, and he's all done. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the cowboy. Jerry Trucker. I mean, you need that cap to come charging out of that box up with that feet. Cash in there, he charged it down, get himself a black cap. Take the fly in this ground, the crowd come alive and help him out. Put up a black cap as he rolls it all the way back. He goes for the wraps. The tie, he's done. Give him a big round of applause for Cash in there. Oh, the hits it outside. Come charging in that rodeo arena, breakneck speed, down across the far end, takes a long loop, got himself a black cap. Charging the length of the rope, throws the cat to the ground, taking it straight along the front foot, brings up the two highs, goes to the wrap, he's done. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for the cowboy. The modern Mets are British Columbia, that's Ross Herman. It's six of the time to meet so far.
Keith Herman brought himself back in. Johnny heads it outside after that special face count. Trying to cross it over the arena. Throw the long loop, but he's got to stop the long orange cap. And the clock kicks away for the Cowboy. Horse working well for the young man as he throws him down to the ground. Gathers up the two high feet. Goes to the raft to tie, and he's all done. Give him a big round of applause. Jake Kerman. Running into Nara, trapped the dodge, charges up. Grabs himself a long horn calf, and ladies and gentlemen, grabs the calf, throws him down to the ground. Goes to the raft to the tie, he's done. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen, and in no time, they say. In no time. Our next time when we go, ladies and gentlemen, Cash is on. He got himself back in the barrier box. Did he set up? We're ready to ride here this afternoon. Rope is stripped across. We give that steer a fair 10 hit, hit foot head start. And Cash is on. His focus is just the long horse here. Throw the work, heads down across that arena. The steer steps up on him. Not what he wanted to have happen. As there is a time, a 25 second time limit, we believe it is in this time bit. Yeah, she is learning. Weighs off and takes a couple of moves. Oh, the horse is outside. Steve Holman tries it down, grabs himself a long horn steer with a horn. And crowd help the man out, ladies and gentlemen, a hard cowboy to throw with a hard cowboy working. Steve Holman working, cowboy working. There we go. Give him a big round of applause for the cowboy from Fidel Reach Columbia. Holman in this event, a 12 and 8, good enough for third spot so far. The 12 and 8. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said earlier, this cowboy is coming back from a bad injury with a broken jaw and a broken cheek. A big rope stretched across, and a cowboy is ready to ride. And all the heads are outside, reaching down, grab the long horse, steer him on the horn, and crowd help him out as he wrestles the steer down to the ground. Gonna need a lot of muscle and brawn. Hang in there, Joe, and Lenny. Hang on, cowboy! Get the job done. Give him a big round of applause for the Cash Street Cowboy. Oh, the hits are outside, trying to down, reaching down. Whoa! Cowboy and in long group. And at no time, give him a big round of applause and at no time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, unofficially the winner of the Steve Rattler event goes to Cole Scott with a running time of six side. Tempo ready to hold him, turn it out of the arena. And give him a help him out, Cowboy. Ladies and gentlemen, this young man is going to ride. Joe Lewis is ride. Because he's the first Cowboy to make a four or five eight second round in the Saddle Road Grand event here this afternoon, trying to beat a 71. I brought him the road and came a muscle from yesterday afternoon. He was also second on day number one at Alkali Lake earlier this season. And he's the next Cowboy you want to watch. Oh, I'm hissing outside and crowd come alive, help him ride! Cole Scott ride, Cowboy ride, and oh, he's in a little bit of trouble out there. Cole Scott having himself a whole lot of problems out there and a lot of holes for the young cowboy. Ladies and gentlemen, give him a big round of applause. He can hear you all so loud and clear this afternoon. Unfortunately, no score for the young man. Not his head to the outside. Steve Holman, the Cornell Cowboy, and a whole lot of horse on him. Ladies and gentlemen, he's sitting up and he's riding the Steve Holman ride. Cowboy ride. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. You can hear you loud and clear here this afternoon for Cowboy Friday, Quinn Elbert, and Columbia. He's ready to go here this afternoon, trying to make sure he can get a cat caught in a boat of 8.5 is what he needs on to win the championship here this weekend. Bob is headed outside, trying to get down to the rodeo here. Walk the rock, the top of the half head, it takes him up at no time. And at no time, unfortunately, for Joel Lindardi, and at no time. Dallas Smith got a horse back to the barrier box. It's all the way down to Smith's second time position. All the heads is outside and across that rodeo arena. She tried to force stumbled a little bit. That's been cost her. And she heads into the arena and takes her top at no time. Hoping to be the man to be a 2.1 from yesterday afternoon. The witch is broken. The lead dog is heading. He's sitting outside. Charlie down. Down to the gap. Breaks the wave. Oh, my God. A speed. Take it, Cowboy. A 10 seconds added on to his time. A two and two plus ten, give him a twelve and two the running time. A twelve and two, the total running time for the Cowboy. A twelve and two. 
Got the heads of those sides charging down across that rodeo ridge. Got herself a cow, puts her way in the towel third. Give Piston Bell a hand, ladies and gentlemen, with the Tavier gun. We go on with our next competitors this afternoon. But we only have four more quickly open before we get out to the bucking event of the Burke Juniors tonight. Vicki Scott gets us off a chance, breaks away, and that's how she died. But we have some bad news. Vicki, a little bit too quick on the takeoff. Back to the very boss, the rope is stretching across, and he's here to get you up. Got the hits on the side, throw the rope down, but comes up with the empty rope. Takes himself in no time. All the heads are outside, trying to down throw the long loop, the cap goes right on through, and he takes us off at no time. And right now, it's first second time, we're charging into that rodeo, we're going to break that speed. Pull the loop down, he comes up with an empty rope, and takes us off at no time. What's your position, what are you doing here? Um, I'm the hired bullfighter, um, I'm the guy that protects the cowboy after he gets bucked off, or gets off his bull, so that's my job, and I'm here for the weekend. And how long you been doing this? Uh, this will be my fourth year fighting bulls. Um, I rode bulls for five years before, and uh, I wasn't that good at it. And, and uh, turns out I fight bulls a lot better than I ever rode them, so <laughs> this is kind of the road I took. Okay, so this has got to be one of the most incredibly dangerous jobs you would think in the world. Uh, why do you do it? Ah. Uh. I love it. I guess that's what it boils down to. You know, you get pretty cool adrenaline rush from it, and uh, and just you know having the respect from the bull riders, I guess, is another big thing. That's the reason why I do it. You know, a 65 point ride, ladies and gentlemen, a 65. Oh, you got Tyler getting up the third spot to the final with a 65. Or Tyler Lang on a Langley bridge coming in at a 65. Good luck for third spot so far. Get herself a hook in the leg and get the young man a hand, ladies and gentlemen, better than British Columbia. All right, here's James Cross with the young cowboy from Mario Cornell, British Columbia. Now he shoots up the wall. Side, each and every jump. 
Across that rodeo arena as we tap into the score, currently a 73 by Blaine Manuel is in the lead of this event. Kyle Bell in second with a 72. The Cliff Dark Judge is in this position. A 72, ladies and gentlemen, that ties up for second spot with Kyle Bell in second spot. And the winner of that event, ladies and gentlemen, will be Blaine Manuel from Memphis, George, for the Columbia. A former rookie of the year on the Canadian Pro Radio Tour, ladies and gentlemen, doing a five for 13, 8, 9, 8, and third. Oh, yes, you're on that 14, 9, 2, 0. This is Clifton Gurney, the cowgirl, coming around barrel number two at this time. Headed down to the third and final barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, got a good run happening so far for the cowgirl. Charging home with a nice speed run. Clifton Gurney with a running count of 14, 6, 6, 0. There's the new leader, ladies and gentlemen, on the Calgary Stampede. She's here this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Turning six around barrel number one across that rodeo arena. Looking up barrel number two, ladies and gentlemen, this is why she's a Canadian pro rodeo competitor. Around number three, get a big round of applause to him, Frank and Severoff, for the running time of 14, 17, 8, good number second so far. She won day number one at Elf Fire Lakes earlier this season, and she's back here to meet number one at the Canadian Lost Rodeo. Nelly to meet in round number one. Try to harvest back the soul horse for number two, looking at the far end for number three, the third and final barrel, and give a big round of applause for the lady from out of Prince George, going to meet for the running panel of 14, 5, Sarah Gerard, South Rock, Calgary. And try to get the arena of a bay horse on that barrel number one, a nice turn on the water across the arena, trying to meet a running time of 14, 5, 8, 8, by Melanie Newton, currently in the lead. This cowgirl, Sarah Gerard, a good run as she hands it on home this afternoon. For the running time of 15, 2, 4, 2, there's your new leader, ladies and gentlemen. We saw her in action earlier in the road projection, now she's back in that red gun horse to show you what she can do with Merrill Ranger. Around number one, a tight turn on one. Around number two, this lady is burning up the field, ladies and gentlemen. Around number three, to complete the quivering pattern and give a big round of applause for the cowgirl. For the running time of 15, please, come to the new land yet. Kyra Bennett is trying hard on a black horse around barrel number one and the pull with a pattern looking across that arena for barrel number two. And a nice clear on two pours on the the steam and overdrive looking for number three. And around three, get a big round of applause with these short barrels. He's going to do a little well for the running time of 15, 6, 6, 7. A 15, 6, 6, 7. Shading Tucker out of round number one. A big black shot to hard and pass the board and duck and play power under. That's what it takes to make us from the second and third in a hurry around. Please give a big round of applause for Shading Tucker here this afternoon with a running time of 13, 8, 8, 4, 14, 8, 8, 4, and on the lead in the hole. Trying hard and fast around number two, the brown horse with the good to the cowgirl. Took it down to the far end from the third and final barrel. Give a big round of applause as he hits home. He will win this afternoon in the running time of 13 9 0 4. 13 9 0 4. The cowgirl can ride a top horse. The player fire is just well like Tommy Herman on the end of the season. He's in the deck. Claire Myers trying to hard to pass around number two. That four horse hit well with the cowgirl. Takes a little bit of a stumble around number three. Give a big round of applause. Claire Myers hits the cowgirl for the running time of 13, 9, 0, 9, and 13. It's Ron Herman. Ron Herman started hard on that damn barrel around number one. Four horse went well with the cowgirl down in the third. Second barrel is at the number three. It's probably shit pattern. Around three, give a big round of applause for Tommy Herman here this afternoon with a running time of 14, 7, 2, 8, plus 5, and he's going to run down the main street. After the lead in the hole, all the track here running down of 13, 2, 4, 0, that is the time of 14, 14, 0. Other son, Tauro, Stacey Duncan on her balance, on her musket horn, story around number one. Looking to cross that road, you're going to from barrel number two, the pole with the pattern. He's got a good run half the so far, nice clean run so far as he head down to the third and final barrel. Stacy out of the round, number three, get a big round of applause. Stacy Duncan flying it on home this afternoon to hometown. Call it over the right time of 22815 plus five. Kelly Pondemont on a picture of British Columbia. Kelly Pondemont charging hard and fast for barrel number one, the big red horse looking 
Now in number two, he's going to stretch out and cover ground. Kelly Pond the ball down to the third and final barrel. Give her hand, ladies and gentlemen. She charges home for the fifth and lady. Kelly Pond the ball. We're going to come 13, 4, 5, 6. 13, 30 on deck. Toss the seat for me in the hole. This young Tyler always shot a stick. He had a clear water ready to love the other around barrel number one. Now we're looking at a difficulty with that big grown horse hitting around for barrel number two. That's her against the stopwatch this afternoon. Around number two down to the far near end here for number three. That's the third and bottom barrel. Shout out around number three. Give a big round of applause this afternoon for the town girl from Clearwater. I'm going to see a new time and a new time. Around number one, Tina Cherry on the paddle being a horse looking at barrel number two. Oh, that cool when he found this young lady can ride. She's got herself a top horse and she can ride that horse as she headed for home here this afternoon at Cornell Cowgirl. Tina Cherry this afternoon with a race on 13, 830 Cassidy is in charge of the number two. We are going to take that seat. Around barrel number one. Looking to cross that lead from barrel number two. A nice turn on two down. Looking to pour on steam and overdrive for number three. Give her a big round of applause. Cassidy Emerson, Pritchard, British Columbia, Cowgirl. For the running time of 15, 3, 8, 1, 15, 3, 8, 1, the running time. Toss his sight out of South Albany, Columbia. He comes charging in here. Here we go. The big white horse around number one. Looking at the far side of the arena for barrel number two. The Wolverine pattern is her against the stopwatch. Charging hard. Looking for barrel number three. The final barrel around. Please give her a big round of applause. As the young lady brings the home with a running time of 15, 4, 9, 7. A 15, 4, 9, 7 is the running time. Across the bottom of the BC, so long as 7. The very good lead by the Penel for his Columbia charge hard and fast for barrel number one. Six day hold. Got a lot of leg and a lot of speed, but he gets wild up around number two. He goes. Looking down that third and bottom barrel. The Terry in is around number three. Give her a hand as she brings it home here this afternoon. Terry in the lead with a running time of 15 509. He runs for a wheel in the hole. And the Caleb Bennett's out of a 150 mile house. Charging in around number one. Across that arena looking for number two. The jet step pony working well for the dollar around number two. Down to the near end of the arena, down to the bucket shoot carry for barrel number three of the Cobra pattern and they turn, give her a big round of applause. And the lady hits the hole with a running time of 19 one two two. The great Rebecca are hitting all over the town of the All by two, two years to go. A grand cast for each in the hole. The hit the Alberta Calder open across that arena for barrel number two. The Global League pattern of the big stage. He connects the next turn and left turn on two. Down to the number three barrel in the round three. Give her a big round of applause for the young lady from Hit the Alberta. With a running time of 20.20, coming to 20.20. Hold by the Kimmy Helping on this. We're out of the field and we're going to play for me in the hole. Pink Peacock hit the Alberta Calder all around barrel number one. Put the car across that arena looking for barrel number two. With that clover leaf shape pattern, a nice turn on the two. Two barrels standing as you hit hard and fast with third and final barrel. The top of the number three and around three. Give a big round of applause. We take it home. For the young Calder of McKinley Helmet. For the McKinley Helmet. Hit the Alberta Calder. Trying to hide and fast for barrel number one. A nice turn on one and a little bit too tight, but ladies and gentlemen, the young lady's got it happening around number two. A horse with a little bit of leg that can cover ground when she lets them open up. And around number three, ladies and gentlemen, give her a big round of applause. The kid in the hill is a hit the elevator with a running time of 19.560. Well, the bus spot. Well, officially, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Junior Barrel Racing event with a running time of 14.637. Is Mackenzie Wills out of Glenelg that 14 6 3 7. Brock Eric and Curry with an 18 5 5 7. This is Brianna Billy. Charging in hard and fast in this young Chicago with a winner at the William Blake Indoor. Second 100 mile house and day number two at the Bella Cooler Rodeo. And both days of Alkali Lake, this young Cowgirl can ride around number three. Give her a big round of applause. Brianna Billy, William Blake Cowgirl. With a running time of 15 8. It will be in the hole. In the barrel race, we follow this young lady. We'll rake around our barrels and come back to you with some more barrel racing action here at the Canoe Mountain Rodeo.
Finally getting down, he charged it how hard on a big, big horse, a lady and a gentleman, a big horse, a little lady, but she got him under full control. Down to the third and final barrel, a lot of smile on her face around three. Give a big round of applause. There's Tiny Ildardi on a cash streak. Well, they want to have a 20.669 and 20.669. Oh, Nice and charging harder, fast around barrel number one. Looking across that rodeo arena, barrel number two of the Coconut Shape pattern. Around two, we're picking on some speed in the head down that third and final barrel. Dice and around three, give a big round of applause. Dice and Mandy. Fidel Cowboy with a running time of 17074 plus five. Oh, you know, a little lead on a great big bay horse, charging hard and round the barrel number one. A tight right hand turn on one. Pulls on a little bit of steam. And Overdrive and speed and head around the number two barrel. Down to number three, she's got a lot of horse and a lot of speed. And ladies and gentlemen, open it up. Now we'll hit for home. Alicia Kirschbeck with a running time of 17 2 Central. A big male murder will be in the hole while trying to beat that 24 to 11. And Taylor Sherry, what else do you see, Paolo? Try to get your little girl in a little jump in the lead. The got a super horse and she can ride that horse. Taylor and Jerry got a good run happening so far. We've got the bag and weaving around the hole. The ladies and gentlemen, this could be the quick run of the junior pole bed. And we're ready so far. Good run. Give her a big round of applause. Taylor Jerry from Pinnell, D.C. with a running time of 20 for 8 9 4. There's a new leader, Taylor Jerry. There it is, starting all the big big holes on the serpent time. Down there is young Cowboy. Get up and she's up and good. Got a good run happening. And this big horse, he's going to be getting down. Ladies and gentlemen, he's going to run and set a pole as you head back to the section of serpent time pattern. And give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen, for the lady from out of Quinnell, BC, prepared in the knee. Unfortunately, at no time, prepared in at no time, only the last of the final two to put them in. Here in 2013, Victoria Jardin is down the far end of the rodeo arena. Makes a tight left turn on the big horse and start getting that serpent time pattern. She's sitting up with this young lady, got a good job happening so far. And she's got to die to lean in and out of the serpent time pattern this afternoon. Victoria Jardin down, down the last and final one. Give her a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, for Victoria Jardin, you've got a hit in the Alberta with a very proud of 27. There she is, charging down hard a foul from a big gray horse. Chain the left hand turn, starts in the super time pattern. Got her on a horse under her to handle the lead. We'll get what she's got him under control. Now, up to the right hand turn, we we'll start back in the second section of the super time pattern. Ladies get up and looking good. Heads around on final hole, give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Cynthia. He goes on it. We're going to draft the running time at 26. One more lead to Calgary. All of it. We're going to draft the lead. And now we're going to lead in the hole. And the team keep on charging down hard and fast. The super time pattern. Doing the ducking and diving in amongst the pole bending. Pole here this afternoon. Down the far end. Starting back in the second section of the super time pattern. Down around and get a big round of applause. She hit the ball at home here this afternoon. Big kick off. Hit the old to Colorado. We're running time of 28 9 to a real big ex Colorado. We're going to go this afternoon in the last and final. The junior pole bet this afternoon before we're down to the Pee Wee. This is the Kelly Helmet getting on here to Colorado. Following this Colorado, we're going to around our pole to come back here with some more pole bet in action. The Kelly Helmet down the far end of the pole. Started back in the second section of the Christmas time pattern. So far, all the holes are standing for the young cowgirl. Down to the near end and give her a big round of applause. But Jimmy Helming, who's back home here this afternoon, has stopped the clock for the running time of 30 for 8 o'clock. Our next event up will be the PB Pole Bending event. In the PB Pole Bending, the time to beat is Jason Antoine from yesterday afternoon. Rihanna Billy charging in hard and fast with a paid horse. And this young lady's got a good horse under her as she starts getting on the super diet powder. Down the far end, make the right hand turn and start back in the serpent tape. Pattern and so far, all the poles are standing for Brianna Billy, the young lady from William Blake, and give her a big round of applause and charge it on home here this afternoon. Well, the running time, and she's the next one to go here this afternoon, trying to get the credit Gracie Antoine, time of 26, 667. Is Kylie Ildardy charging up that big sorrel horse? 
Hang the left hand turn on the pole that started in on the serpentine pattern. And this young cow girl sitting up and she's looking good. Down the first section of the serpentine pattern. Makes a right hand turn and starting back. She's got a good run happening so far over Brother Joel down there, kind of coaching her along, making sure she does a good job. And this young lady's going to be warming up some more horses for her brothers here in a few years' time. Give her a big round of applause. Howdy, everybody, from Terrence Creek. For the running time of 32, 8, 4, 5, and 32. I wanted to go through this afternoon. Followed by Alicia Kushner of Surrey will be, a uh, Surrey of Hinton will be in the hole. And the last and final pole better here this afternoon. There's Dyson on the knees starting back in the serpentine pattern. The young man's got a good run happening so far for the Pinnell Cowboy. Makes a right hand turn to start back in the second section of the serpentine pattern. And this young man's got himself focused up. Trying to beat that 26 6, 6 7. And this could be the run that does it. Give him a hand lead to give him a Dyson on the knees. Pinnell BC Cowboy with a running time of 26 5 6 9. And there's a new leader, ladies and gentlemen. For the 26 5 6 9, you're crowning a champion. Alicia charging in hard and fast with that big bay horse, and she got a good horse under her. Now the cowboy's got a duck and dive and weave in and out of the pole, trying to beat the running time. You just witnessed by Dyson Moniz's time of 26, 5, 6, 7. And this young cowboy could possibly do it here this afternoon. This fast horse she got under her can do the job. And this young lady down to the final tail, and it's hoping about cowboy to hit him hard. That horse can run for you, lady. And she ends the hole with a running time of 25. Four, seven, eight, and ladies and gentlemen, that is your champion right there. Good to be her baby, Alicia Kushner, and the hit number 25, four, seven, eight. And she had herself a pretty happy cheering squad all the way from Hinton, Alberta. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the pole baby for 2013. And the winner of that event is Alicia Kushner, but Hinton, Alberta, with a running time of 25, four, on the roster this afternoon. The rope is stepped across and back to the knees on his horse back to the very mark. Dolly hits it outside. Drives it down, throws a long loop into the ground and takes it off in no time. And in no time, unfortunately, for Dyson O'Neill. Currently number one in the junior all-around standings as he was finished third in the breakaway and, and the all-around junior standings in 2012. He also beats the junior steer riding, the young man won. Kyle Bell has the rope stepped across and he's ready to rope. Oh, the heads it outside, trying to out that red steer across the arena, got us on a catch, got to break away, and there, ladies and gentlemen, the first man, young fellow, to make a qualified run. I just have it in our times and see how it goes from there for the young cowboy from out of Houston, British Columbia. Four and two, currently in the lead, and the only one on the leaderboard, this time the only qualifier. Dog the heads, heads it outside, Cassidy Edison charged it hard and fast down across that arena, throws the loop off the top of his head and takes us off in no time. And a no time for Cassidy Evanson this afternoon. But now we're down to BJ in 30, the youngest boy. BJ on his head and outside, tied it down across that rodeo unit. Steered back to the right, BJ throws the loop and takes it off in no time and an empty rope. On his head and outside, tied it down, Taylor Terry throws him down to the ground and takes us off. A no time and a no time for Taylor Terry. Not in Ross Peter, hurting the lead. Rock her and on the heads and outside goes for the long horn. Jeff Gallagher makes a turn. Jim Kelly goes over a set of heels. That's how she's done. But a plus five ball is for one height. Very rope is stretched across and Cash in on. He's got his horse back in the barrier box. Then himself focused and all set up. The rope himself on these long horn steers this afternoon. Now the heads and outside after him. Tied it down across the arena. Goes for a long head catch. Gallagher makes a turn. Right in the fifth for a set of heels. That's how she done, but a plus five boys for only one high foot, and a plus five for the other guy he goes for only one high foot. Set up in the corner, get him focused on that steer for when he gives a nod, and the steer will come into that road to arena, throw his body, trap the dance block. Throw him out with hands to the outside, go for the horn catch. Down and makes a turn. Oh, he's got a whole lot more than he bought him for. Unfortunately, had no time. And in no time for Joel Lunardi and Charles Hill to get maybe five turns in the lead. Jeff Nolan hits it outside, charge it down. Roll the loop, goes for the horn catch. Dallas makes a turn, grab Thomas Lopez and he goes, pulls one down. That's how she's done. She's clean all the way through by the looks of it. And a nice run for the Cowboys. At eight and six, ladies and gentlemen, good number second spot so far. With the second on day number one in that high rate, he's on the highway to water watch. He's on the head end, and they go the horn catch. Gallagher makes the turn, Jim Rovers, and he is. 
She's all in there, and it's a clean over there, and it's well the down there. And a clean run for real through for Chad Evans and Tim Tell. A six and four, ladies and gentlemen, there's your new leaders. A six and four for Chad Evanson. A six point four shirt in the lead. This is a different lead. The different lead. Tom Wood keeps getting faster and faster as the day progresses here this afternoon at the Clean Mountain Rodeo. Kyle Bell behind the very box of the Red Dunn horse. The rope stretch across. So this young man is ready to rope. And Shaw Horn is all horn steer. Dolly hits it outside. Trying to get out of the ball of horn kick. Dolly's to make the turn. Here in there, you want to set of heels? Straighten it up, boys. Straighten it up. The clock ticks away. They take themselves at no time, and at no time, flip it on the head, and I think, trucking it out, and all the he's going after the long horn steer, goes for the horn cap, down to make the turn. Steve Lloyd goes in there, set of heels, throw the loop down. Comes up with one high foot to get a plus five, ladies and gentlemen, only a Kyle Bell getting his horse back in the very box, all set up and ready to go here this afternoon on the Red Dead Horse. You saw the young man in action earlier. One teamed up and carried the darty. Kyle Bell goes for the horse check. Down it makes a turn. Ronnie going for a city. He will go the loop down. They're done. Get the big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Clean on the barrier as well for the team of Kyle Bell, Ronnie and Darty. A seven in five. Good day, Darty. Back there behind that big rope. Rope is stretched across. This young cowboy is ready to rope to be a champion. Now the head's in outside. Charging down hard and fast. Goes to the horse check. Down as it makes a turn. Travis has one goes for a set of heels. They come up with a lifty rope. And they take a little time. So a big round of all ladies and gentlemen. It's all good, people. It's your applause and a little time. Ladies and gentlemen, Chad Evans and Austin Hanson outside. Charger down, goes to the head catch, horn catch. He's what he gets ended up with. Goes down for a set of heels. That's how she's done. Ladies and gentlemen, a race nice team run. Chad Evans and Brock Herman here this afternoon. Chad Evans and all on a hot streak so far this afternoon. A five and seven. All with heads and outside. Cash is on to make the long throw. Go for the head catch. Down to make the turn. The far carrying over to the heels. That's how she did, ladies and gentlemen. With a team of Cash and Kerry Midnight, he was in plus five for only one high foot. Here this afternoon in a five second penalty on all the time. The time to beat is of five and seven. A quick time to beat over the good night of the year, Ken Rook. As DJ just showed the long throw, threw it down, the third of the middle of the eight rope, and it hit the tail in no time. And no time for Barry Rook stretch across, and we two are ready to go here this afternoon. Jackson's got trying to get out of the break next week, goes for a catch, and ends up with an empty rope, and they take themselves at no time. Jackson's horses to the corner are getting all ready for, to make a quick getaway. And try to grab himself a long horn steer, under 5.7. And up and head to the outside, trying to get down, goes for the long throw, horn catch. Down as he makes the turn, Steve goes for a set of heels, and he comes up with an empty rope, and they take at no time. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the Grassland Coast Team Rope event for 2013, and the winner is... She has ever said Brock Herman with a five and seven. Ladies and gentlemen, give all of our team members a hand to get ourselves set up and ready to go with the bull riders. Great in Western Canada, a chance for us. Great morning, Junior, for the lives of the line. Thank you, Mark Powell, here in the bull riders of it. This is kind of a long tradition of uh, from Rodeo Clown. When did it change over to become sort of bullfighting as, as the term? Well, I guess it, it's like everyone, you know, they ask you what you do and you see your bullfighter, and the first thing that comes to mind is a clown. And, and I mean, in a sense, that's why, like, they do, there is clown, there is rodeo clowns. But our job, it kind of, it's been, our bullfighting job, back in the day, they, you know, there'd be a funny man making jokes and, uh, and uh, he was also the bullfighter. So, I mean, the bullfighter's always been there, but people don't realize that, you know, they're not just a clown. Like, we're, it's been, like, bullfighting for years, like, as long as I can remember. So.
calls or you had any accidents yourself uh yeah there's been a few like you guys always gonna get bumped like that's my job like you know if someone's gonna take a hook and that's that should be me taking a hook and you know so there's times where it gets gets a little western and the guy's gotta do what he's gotta do to keep the cowboy safe right and, um but as far as injuries go i haven't had nothing real bad a few busted ribs and and uh you know aches and pains bruises but nothing too serious So how heavy are these bulls on average? Uh, they, they range from anywhere from 1,400 to, you know, almost a ton. So it's, um, you don't see very many that are a ton, but for the most part, they're 14 to 16, 1,700 pounds. So what's it like to stand in front of a 1,700-pound bull and stare him down? Uh, sometimes it can be a little intimidating. I mean, there's always them, them ones that got a little more hook that are a little more intimidating than the rest, but the adrenaline kind of takes over and and you know you don't think about it a whole lot you just kind of react and go on about your business Thank you. 